glass manufacture and types. In this lesson, the learner will be able to define glass, explain the manufacturing process of glass, and define the types of glass. Glass is a hard, brittle, transparent, super cooled liquid. Glass has been used for centuries for making windows to lens that allow us to see the vast world beyond our planet and the tiny one right around us. So, how was glass invented? In prehistoric times, there was a volcanic eruption. The stone was called obsidian. Man used this as a weapon and for making vessels and crockery. Later, glass blowing was discovered in the first century in Europe, which revolutionized the glass making industry. Over the next 1000 years, glass making speeded up all over the world. Now, let us learn about the manufacture of glass. It involves four steps, melting, working of molten glass, annealing, finishing. Melting, the raw materials such as sand, soda, ash and limestone are mixed and finely powdered. This mixture is known as batch. The batch is then fused with a broken glass called as colored which is then sent to the furnace. There are two types of furnace. They are pot furnace and tank furnace. Pot furnace. The molten glass is kept in a pot furnace at 2100 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass maker uses a steel blowpipe to collect the molten glass by dipping the head of the pipe into the pool of glass and rotates it. The gob of the glass is then pulled out of the furnace and taken to the bench to be formed. Tank furnace. The batch is melted in a tank by burning the producer, gas and air mixture. Heating is done on the basis of regenerative system of heat economy. The fuel, gas and air mixture is allowed to enter the furnace through the fire bricks A and B. The flame of the burnt gases is deflected by the roof. As a result, the batch gets melted. The hot waste gases coming out from the furnace are allowed to escape through the fire bricks C and D, which absorb the heat from the escaping gases. After the gases are reversed, the fuel gas and air mixture is allowed to enter in C and D. The waste gases now escape from A and B. In this way, the escaping gas is utilized. During melting, the following reaction occurs. Calcium carbonate reacts with silicon dioxide present in sand to form calcium silicate and carbon dioxide is evaporated. Similarly, sodium carbonate reacts with silicon dioxide present in sand to form sodium silicate and carbon dioxide is evaporated. Heating is continued until the molten mass is completely free from air bubbles. Working of molten glass. The molten glass is then worked into articles of desired shapes by blowing, molding or by pressing between the rollers. Annealing. Glass articles are then allowed to cool gradually to room temperature as sudden cooling causes cracking. The longer the annealing period, better the quality of glass. Finishing. The glass is then subjected to finishing works such as cleaning, cutting, etc. Now, let us learn about the types of glass. There are different types of glasses. They are soda lime or soft glass, 
lead glass or flint glass, potash lime or hard glass, borosilicate glass, aluminosilicate glass, optical or Crookes glass, quartz glass, opal glass, glass pool, soda lime or soft glass, raw materials used are silica, calcium carbonate and soda ash. Composition of soft glass in percentage by weight. Silicon dioxide of 71 to 73 percent, sodium oxide of 12 to 14 percent, and calcium oxide of 10 to 12 percent. Lead glass or flint glass. Raw materials are lead oxide, silica, and potassium oxide. For dense optical glasses, 80% of PBO is incorporated. In addition, K2O is used instead of sodium oxide. Composition of flint glass in percentage by weight. Lead oxide of 45 to 65 percent, silicon dioxide of 25 to 45 percent, and 10 percent of potassium oxide. Potash lime or hard glass. Raw materials silica, calcium carbonate, and potassium carbonate. Composition of hard glass in percentage by weight. The approximate composition is K2O, CaO, 6 SiO2. Borosilicate glass. Raw materials silica, boron potassium and sodium oxide. Composition of borosilicate glass in percentage by weight. Silica of 80.5%, oxides of boron of 13% with small amount of alumina, which is of 3%, and some oxides such as potassium oxide of 3% and sodium oxide of 0.5%. Aluminosilicate glass. Raw materials are silicon oxide, aluminium oxide, boron oxide, magnesium oxide, calcium oxide, sodium oxide, and potassium oxide. Composition of aluminosilicate glass in percentage by weight silicon oxide of 55%, aluminium oxide of 23%. Oxides of boron of 7%, magnesium oxide of 9%, calcium oxide of 5%, and sodium oxide plus potassium oxide of 1%. Addition of alumina makes the glass heat resistant. Optical or Crookes glass. Raw materials. It contains phosphorus and lead silicate with a small amount of cerium oxide. Cerium oxide is capable of absorbing UV light. Quartz glass. Raw materials used are crystalline silica. It is fused at 1900 degrees Celsius under vacuum. Opal glass. Raw materials. NAF or CaF2 or Ca3PO42 or SnO2. Glass wool. Glass wool is a fibrous wool like material which is composed of intermingled fine threads or filaments of glass. They are alkali free. Summary Glass is a hard, brittle, transparent, supercooled liquid. Glass has been used for centuries for making windows to lens that allow us to see the vast world beyond our planet and the tiny one right around us.